we have to we are planning the major repairs in our flat so we moved from my our own flat to my wife parents house so we had to move things around some furniture to uh, another location just not to create a mess inside the house and the thing that we are required to sustain uh, our daily life we brought here so it was preparation actual moving the things tossing turning everything else uh, just and maybe on sunday i was just chilling preparing the things unpacking preparing the walking place because we now have a remote walk mm -hmm. did did you find a lot of stuff that uh you don't need anymore or you don't use anymore because that happens yeah of course only. yeah yeah, yeah. Was <laughs> one of the part of one of the best part of moving things that you throw away a lot of stuff that you won't do it before and you don't know why really because you think oh i will need it one time maybe in my life again but when you're moving you understand that yeah it's not worth it just throw it away gotcha. fair enough yeah for for me it's usually books but books that's usually the thing that i realize oh geez i definitely don't need this I haven't read this in a while, especially like textbooks from school. Um, have you hel held on to any of your uh, textbooks from when you were younger? Oh, well, we actually had a system where we have our school books from school and we have to give them away. In my okay. times, uh, we uh -huh. didn't. My sister that was she is nine years younger than me. She already had a system where they buy books for school. So you are passing the next grade, you need to buy the whole, the whole set of books. But for me, it was still a system where the school library basically give you a book and you have to just maintain it and uh, then hand it over to another guy. It was actually fun because there were some paintings, you know, in books, and maybe some missing pages. So there were some interesting cases about those books. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, mm -hmm. So let, let's get started. I'm just going to share my screen with you just so that you could see uh, um, your marks right here. OK, so first of all, I see that you have uploaded um, your blogger and your SoundCloud. That's fantastic. Um, I've just put your progress report right here, just so that we can keep tabs on where you are um, in the course. Mm -hmm. um, so lesson number one. So OK, so that was last lesson. So you know, you did your homework. You had attendance. You had a. I'm not sure if you've completed a blog post. I I didn't know that you had uploaded these links. Um, but, 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 oh, sorry, this is the link to my blogger right here. Never mind. So this is your SoundCloud. That's beautiful. I put, sorry, I put the link maybe. Uh, just, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was in the Google Doc. Oh, there yeah. is a link for okay. private upload. I uploaded it. This, this is a private. Sorry, five lessons I've learned from, yeah, 100%. This is exactly what I wanted you to do. Okay, cool. Awesome. It's Sorry. in the end of the of the document, after the point uh, of the uh, homework, number four. Okay, and all right. link cool. to the file. Okay, cool. Well, that's, uh, that's solid. That's spot on right there. And then we'll just have to uh, check your Jamboard right there to see how many words we have in here. Good. Stuff. I also added the link to blogger. For yeah. Blog yada yada yada. Beanie. Ah, oh, gosh, you got some good ones here. Today, you're going to learn a lot of new words. Today, it's go going to be very vocabulary heavy, but excellent stuff. All right. So that's 
Well, so today, this is our second lesson. So you have one, one out of one. Um, I haven't actually given you a SoundCloud um, task. So that's actually my fault. But I see that you've finished homework. And of course, you're here today. So I'll have to give you a SoundCloud task after this. And uh, may, maybe I'll just give you the mark since you completed two blog posts. Uh, yeah, because you did the asynchronous component right on. Okay, fantastic. Yep, that's uh, that's solid right there. Okay, um, good stuff, sweet. Um, so yeah, you have perfect marks so far. Uh, well done, good start. Do you have any questions about anything so far? Uh, no, no questions. Perfect, all right, great stuff. So we will um, just close that down right there. Excellent. So we, we're uh, talking about something that we've probably spoken about in a conversational class a long time ago. It's subcultures. Um, so first of all, when you see this word, um, what do you think about? What, what, what is a subculture for you? Oh, uh, some small part of uh, society that have some distinct views, maybe musical taste, maybe art taste, maybe aesthetics, or some rules of behavior. Could be anything. It could be a school club. It could be, a, you know, a big, like, some medalist culture, like we have, or, you know, skater subculture. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. And we're going to be looking at some uh, skater terms today as well, actually. So that's great. So let's start off with the first activity. This is activity one, and this is a quiz. Um, can we guess if you're Gen X, Baby Boomer, or Millennial? So let's open up this quiz together. All right. Good stuff. Sweet. So uh, tell me, are you ready to start the quiz, Andre? Yeah, ready. Happy days. All right, so first of all, what is Zine? A cheapo magazine. It's like a blog, but physical. It's like a comic book without pictures. I have no idea. What do you think? I think it's a cheapo magazine. <laughs> Me too, yeah. Since it's got like Zine or Zine, whatever that is, I'm going to guess it's a cheapo magazine. Yeah, all right. Okay. What resolution was the first TV you bought? Ah, oh, that's a good one. I actually don't even know, to be honest. I don't know what these mean. Like, maybe you could explain to me what these different options mean. I know 720. I see that on YouTube. And I'm looking mm -hmm. around on YouTube. But I don't know, like, SD color, for example. I really don't know what mean SD. What is the standard? Oh, okay. But I think cool. it's you know it's made like analog TV or some something like that. Yeah. Because uh, its resolution wasn't a thing maybe. It was okay. Before. Fair no. enough. Hey, um, I'll say seven. I uh, I don't know if that's more modern or older. It's just a guess. Yeah, All right. to 720 though. I actually Stop. bought my first TV that I bought myself was a big plasma TV, so it's not, not fit in any category. <laughs> so I <think. laughs> Oh really? When did you buy it, Andre? Uh when I was I actually have the old TV from my parents I get, which was really an old one, but I'm not used it for a long, long time. It was just collecting dust on my balcony because I was already in the internet thing and I have don't have any reasons just not to watch maybe some te television programs on in on the internet so there was wasn't really a need for me to buy an TV and when I got married we wanted to, to place a, a big 
television screen in our bedroom just to lay down and watch some films. And we actually we bought a TV, I put it on the wall, and we basically doesn't watch a regular television broadcasts, just the internet or some YouTube videos from the apps from the the TV operating system. Yeah, and you could say we we didn't watch it didn't watch instead it. of doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Just remember that conjugation of to do. All right. Um, how do you listen to music um, on a hi-fi system on my Apple TV on my phone from Rip CDs or streaming? Yeah, streaming from my laptop or phone. How about you? Yeah, I'm streaming from laptop or phone. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you usually mo use your phone? Sorry. What do you mostly? I'm con confusing the words up. What do you mostly use your phone for? Phone calls, emails, texting, social media. God. Right now it's social media. I think. Yeah. For me, it's like work. You know. So I guess if we consider iTalk and Skype and all that social media, hundred percent. Yep. All right. Uh, could you read the next one, please? Uh, How is your eyesight? It's not what it used to be. It's okay I, if I have my glasses. I had my vision corrected. It's absolutely great. Mm -hmm. I will pick one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what it used to be. Yeah, it's okay if I have my glasses. Yeah, I think it's not what it used to be. Unfortunately, I'm slipping into that like it's not absolutely great category. It's becoming something else. Uh, yeah, so I'd say that. Not what it used to be. Not exactly. Let's go on to the next one. Flared jeans, yes or no? I don't even know what those are. I have a, like, I, I have a feeling they're like jeans, which are, sorry, flared, which are at the bottom. Do, do you know what these are? Yeah, they're yeah. wide jeans. That's what I had a feeling. They're like big at the bottom. Mm. Wow. Damn. Yeah. That's got to be like outdated. Not since the 90s, I'd say. Um, no, I refuse. Oh, I refuse to go back to the 1970s. Damn. Mm. I agree. I refuse. I don't like this yeah. design of the jeans. Same here. I think about, for some reason, I think about like Janet Jackson or something like that when I see flare jeans. Um, I actually thought about Beatles, but I don't think they, oh, they <laughs> probably Beatles. wear trousers, not the jeans. That's, oh God, that's true. God, now that you say that, that's 100% true. <laughs> All right, sweet. When you stand up, do you say, oof? <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, yes, sometimes. It's like, do you make a noise when you stand up? Like an oh kind no. of noise. Yeah, sometimes I can do it right now. Yeah. That's what a lot of dads do. I, I, I find a lot of older men do yeah. that. What country do you think of as someplace safe to visit? Well, I live in Canada, so I'm going to say like Canada, 100%. Um, yeah, yeah, like I think my country is the safest here maybe iceland but but i don't think about france or the uk specifically for safety no. i kind of agree it's iceland is safe because everybody played the plague ink game and the virus usually didn't go to iceland to yeah iceland this game. yeah that's true that's true okay what past pen. at what age could you touch type Oh, am I old? I don't even know what that means. Touch type. What does that mean, Andre? Do you know? You're you're a developer, right? So. No, we don't know. No. <laughs> Might have to look for that. Touch type. Meaning. I'm guessing it just means to type. Type using all one's fingers without using. Yeah, without looking at the keys. You know what's really embarrassing? I started doing, I used to type with only two fingers up to um, one month ago. <laughs> I began practicing typing with all my fingers about one month ago. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm halfway to 30. So yeah, I guess I'd say 20. No, 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 I'm gonna say 30. 
Yeah, they're they're going to think I'm Generation X for sure. No, no. Yeah. I'm actually. I have a a program to train myself to just to to make it really a touch type because you don't have to look on a on a keyboard and just look to the screen mm. only and i i managed to learn to print with whole fingers pretty early but i'm still looking at the keyboard i can't type without it but it will be a messy one <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's put ourselves on mute and let's try to go through the rest of these individually um, yeah, to okay. finish this uh, quickly. So I'll chat to you when I'm done. Yeah. All right. All right, Andre, what were your results? Yeah, I'm millennial. Really, you're a millennial. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm surprised I got millennial actually. I thought they were going to pin pin me high, like older actually. Yeah, I got millennial too. So it says your answers point to you being a millennial, someone born after 1977 or after um, 1980, anecdotally. Uh, you grew up with household computers, Diacola, and less fear of nuclear holocaust than your ancestors. Your yeah. generation has broadened the scope and definitions of the ideologies of your forebears, adding letters to LGB and expanding the technological lexicon to include things like apps, Ubering, and happy slapping. I don't know what happy slapping means. I'm going to have to look that up too. I'm, uh, I'm learning as much as you today, I think. <laughs> happy slapping. Assault a stranger at random while filming an innocent uh, and the incident on a mobile device. Wow, geez. Oh, jackass. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, I get that. Wow, that's wild. Do you agree with this or are you at all surprised? No, yeah, I could agree with that. I'm, just, I'm not feeling like I'm a Generation Z or like somebody, some, somebody younger. I'm kind of okay with my position in this generation concept. Happy days. I don't feel that I'm outdated because I'm millennial or somebody will call me a 30 year old boomer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, fair enough. All right, Andre, well, let's uh, head on over to the next activity, okay? Mm -hmm. um, this activity, we've, uh, we've looked at this picture before and done an activity. Actually, I wonder, do you remember seeing this picture? Mm. Um, actually don't, so maybe we haven't done. Oh, perfect. All right, well, that's excellent news. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, kind of give a little bit of an introduction of one of these people. And, and I want you to look at the person's appearance and just make an educated guess on who you think it is. All right. Um, so this is just a listening exercise right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Okay, let's have a look. Hello, uh, my name is Philip. My friends describe me as being rather timid. I, I don't like a lot of um, hustle and bustle around me. In fact, I like to just stay home and read books. I, I have to be honest, I'm a little bit fearful of all that life has to offer. Um, and I would rather play it safe than to play it cool. All right, which one is Gus? Look at the pictures. Which one do you think is Gus? Playing safe, I think it's interestingly uh, role number four, column number three. Damn, nice. Good stuff. Roll number four, column number three. And I just want to teach you a couple other ways to um, express that as well. So you said uh, row four, column three. You could also say um, uh, third from the bottom. Yeah, I'm okay. And I guess uh, fourth from the left. Fourth from 
the left. Happy days. Yeah, that, that's excellent. Awesome. Oh, I, I guess that would be second from the bottom, actually. Yeah, because it's row four, column three. Yeah, exactly. So it's third from the left. Just a second here. And it's second. Okay, excellent. Good stuff. Let's try this one more time. All right. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> Hello, my name is Angela. I am a total party animal. I love going to the beach and hanging out with people. I uh, spend a lot of time flirting with the guys. And um, in my spare time, I like to uh, skip and ditch class to uh, socialize with other people. Which one's Angela? Socialize. Um, I think it's second. Second from the left and one row below top. Yeah, one, yes, second from the top, second from the left. And you could also say second row, second column. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Um, so why did you think that one was Angela? Well, this goal looks a bit vulgar to me. So <laughs> it seems like vulgar. It would be a perfect fit for that. Create a one minute. So it will be a little bit longer than mine. One minute monologue of one character and spend one minute preparing. Cool. So I'll give you a minute to prepare. And then after that, you could uh, start chatting. Do you have any questions? No, I don't have any. All right, go ahead. All right, Andre, are you ready to go? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, my name is Huey, and I am kind of of music geek. I'm quite enjoying to listen to my music, to stay calm, and just to concentrate on my thoughts and my views and don't really pay attention what's going outside. Uh, I am perfectly calm and reasonable person, so I just like to chill and enjoy the world. It's, uh, all right, is it this guy up here, uh, third column, first row, top row? Yeah, I thought about the <laughs> second row, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, six column, the guy with headphones. <laughs> nice, awesome, happy days, well done, cool. All right, so what I'd like to do next is have a look at um, some cliche expressions. So actually, why don't we bring this one up? So we'll head on over here, cool, and... um. Cool. So first of all, let's have a look at some skater expressions right here. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so these are some expressions that skaters use. I'd like for you to look through them and tell me, do any of these expressions look familiar to you? Oh, 
Interesting. Let me check. On UBS, you can say sketch no, stock no, pop, maybe no. All right. How Cubes. about we stop right there? Because I'm sure some of these these will be new for me as well. Some of them. Um, and some of them we could put into little categories as well. So to be stoked. So we could put stoked, and that is an adjective. Oh, sorry, let me put that here. Adjective. Okay. Um, stoked means very excited or very energized. Yeah, um, lo mm -hmm. looking forward to something. So it means excited. And another word that you may not have heard before, which is used by similar people, is amped. Have you heard that word before? No, I heard about amped. It was something like in the musical circles. It's going like amplifier. Ah, fair play. Yeah, I've I've heard this more in um, like kind of not skater circles, but more like uh, bikers. You know, like dirt bikers and <laughs> people who do yeah, some sliding. Yeah, could be. Yeah. See, that's interesting. How you've heard them in different uh, contexts. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, sketchy. This is a super, um, super useful word. Have you heard this before? No? Sketchy. Uh, 